everyone, and welcome to World History. I'm Mr. Meller, and I will be your teacher for this class. These daily videos are just going to be a quick review of what we covered in class. So let's get to it. First day of school, Unit 1, Archaeology and Prehistory. Lesson 1, What is Archaeology? Today's schedule for the first day of school, we, of course, had a good welcome and went through all the school rules, and we took some time to set up our binders that we use here at the school. We also went through my personal classroom routines and we played a getting to know you activity and then we got into today's lesson which is what is archaeology. At the end of the day we also talked about the CNN 10, the student news, a 10 minute newscast for students from CNN. So let's get into what is archaeology. Okay, this is our first lesson of the year. What is archaeology? Here at school we use the Cornell note method and so you can see there's a spot at the top of the page for the lesson topic, which is archaeology, page one of our notes packet. There's a spot for name, class period, and date. Go ahead and fill those out. If you need links to these blank pages, they are on my website. Essential question for today, what is archaeology and what do archaeologists do? So, question for you, what's the first thing you think about when you hear the word archaeology? Now, for many people, it's this. classic Indiana Jones movies. So the first thing that pops into a lot of people's minds when they hear the word archaeology is Indiana Jones, which is partially correct. He does teach archaeology at a university and he goes out into the field and does field work, but Indiana Jones does a lot of treasure hunting, which is not really accurate to what true archaeologists do. So what actually is archaeology? Let's talk about what archaeologists don't do. Archaeologists do not study dinosaurs. They don't just look for pretty or valuable objects, although that could be part of it. They don't just pick up artifacts when they find them. Of course, they have to carefully document exactly where they found them. They don't spend all their time just digging, although they do spend a fair amount of time out in the field digging. And archaeologists don't buy, sell, or put a price on artifacts. They do artifacts and to further the cause of history and put things in museums. So archaeology, by definition, archaeology is the study of people from the past by analyzing their artifacts. So on our notes page, you can go ahead and fill that in, the study of people from the past by analyzing their artifacts. Okay, what's an artifact? Well, an artifact is any object made by humans. And we mean any object. It doesn't have to be a valuable object. It could be a very plain object. Any object that was made by a human is an artifact. It could be a broken piece of pottery or an arrowhead or it could be something with a lot of value today like a gold cup with a winged lion on it. But anything made by humans is an artifact. So we'll go ahead and fill that in. Next up we're going to talk about culture. What is culture? Culture is any learned behavior that's shared with others. For example, food, religion, art, clothing, holidays, architecture. All of these can be part of a specific culture. The culture shown in these pictures here is things from one of my favorite cultures and that would be the Thai culture from Thailand. 
So we'll go ahead and take some time to write that on our notes as well. Any learned behavior shared with others is culture. Where in the world do archaeologists work? The answer, of course, is everywhere. There are archaeologists who specialize just in Egyptology or the history of Egypt. Classical archaeology would be for Greek and Roman study. Polynesian archaeology, Mayanology, where they're studying the people of the, the Mayas in Mexico. North American archaeology, Utah specific archaeology, underwater archaeology, and many, many other types of archaeology as well. Archaeologists work all over the world trying to find out what the people were like who came before us. And at the end of class, we also talked about the CNN 10, which is the 10 minute newscast that we'll watch most days in class, uh, depending on if we have time for it. Welcome to class, everyone. That does it for today.